Hello. Hello. And uh, welcome to another edition of The Bro Show. And, Jay, laging walang, laging walang nakaupo dito ngayon. Alam mo, napapansin na lahat. Eh. Kasi laging tayong dalawa na lang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, at, uh, kailangan, paliwanag rin natin yan. Well, alam mo naman, ano, di ba? Um, uh, kakatapos lang ng school. Oo nga, oh, kakabakasyon lang, kaya wala masyadong traffic. Holy mm. Week, oh, oh. Ang, bago Holy Week, wala nang pasok. Ang balita ako, oh. mm. balita lang ah, oh, oh. pinatawag sa ano? Saan? Principal's office. Principal's office? Principal's office. Ito? Oh, sa dean's office. Sa, talaga? Sa dean's office. Kaya hindi pala nakakapunta nandun sa dean's office. Ayun. Nag-finish ng requirements for kinder. Ay! Kanta <laughs> ngayon? Ano talaga, talagang issue yan, ha? K-12 na, sa K pa rin siya. <laughs> Di ba? Alam mo, talagang, uh, ano eh, na, kaya nang namimiss na rin uh, ano, ang ating mga, ano, mga viewers. Mm -hmm. yung, si uh, Miko, si bro Miko. Mm -hmm. At yun, kailangang paliwanag natin. Ah, oh. Kumuha tayo ng expert na artist. Siguro, kung... kung Siguro ito may alam kung bakit o oh, kung nasaan ngayon si Miko. At ah, diyan, marami pang alam to. Na iba. Ay, for okay. sure. So let's welcome to the Bro Show the Dean Kinito Henson. Yes, sir. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Hey, <laughs> okay. Tapos si pinatawag mo nga ba si Miko sa principal's office sa Dean's office? Actually, kusang pumunta sa kwarto ko eh. Ganun ba? Hindi ko nga pinatawag eh. Ay, ganda na sumipot. Ba, ganun. Napaka-sneaky naman nun. Oo, oh, sabi niya, gusto niyang i-repeat. Oh, magre-repeat pa? Yung kindergarten. Aba, ang kapal talaga ng mukha oh. nito, no? <laughs> ang sabi ko, o oh, sige, piliyan ko na lang. <laughs> Ganon? O oh. oh, sige, ikulong mo muna doon uh, para madala itong uh, si Miko. Welcome, welcome to the bro show, Dean. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Dean, first, you, first time. Yes, first time. Oh. Dami na, tagal na natin sanang ibitayin si uh, Dean, <laughs> kaso <laughs> sobrang busy. Eh. Lagi, <laughs> lagi nag ano daw eh. May, ah, may ako squash eh. Squash? Nag yeah. Naghihintay na ako ng tawag niyo eh. <laughs> Tsaka namimiss ka na namin kasi hindi na kami nakaka-cover oh, eh. ng Ayun games eh. Eh, oh, oh, oh. Pinapal, kaya nga, this is the time that we will pick your mind mm -hmm. uh, on, on different issues. Okay. Uh, Siyempre, unahin na natin yung, yung playoffs natin ngayon. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in the semifinals at uh, unahin muna natin yung kabila muna, baka sabihin, bias kami. <laughs> <laughs> okay, doon na tayo sa Rain or Shine versus Meralco. So, now 2-0 na din. And, and, and parang ano ah, parang nadodominate to ng uh, Rain or Shine. Well, actually, in game 2, may pagkakataon yung Meralco to be able to even the series. Uh, they were ahead until the end of the uh, first uh, half. Eh, tapos ang Rain or Shine, tumira sila ng katakot-takot ang mga tres. <laughs> <laughs> they finished with 93-point shots. But more importantly, si Wayne Chisholm mm -hmm. um, had a, uh, a low in terms of output, but six assists. Okay. Malaking bagay yun. If yes, you yes. double Wayne Chisholm, I think pinakita ni Wayne Chisholm that he is an import who can pass the ball, yeah. who can recognize kung sinong open, and he delivered the basketball, kitang-kita naman natin, ang resulta, no? Yes, yes. Um, I also think that in terms of not just the strength of yeah. Rain or Shine, kasi yun ang nagpapanalo sa kanila, also the weakness of Meralco. Yeah, yeah. um, Rain and Lugnatan being pressed to play the center position, mm -hmm. which is not his natural position. Mm -hmm. You've also got a Josh Davis, yeah. who's not a center, yeah. who's not even a power forward. Uh -huh. He's a three-player. Mm -hmm. um, tremendous offensive rebounder. Mm -hmm. But if you're coming from the outside because you're playing three, mm -hmm. you can be boxed out. Mm -hmm. Still, you have to give him credit. Adain yung mga offensive yes, rebound yes. na uh -huh. And he's getting second chance points. But over time, it's going to wear you out. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that they don't have a legitimate center mm -hmm. who can go up against, you know, the big guys are very <laughs> shy. Mm -hmm. You know how big they are. <laughs> big and wide. And they, yes, and they're physical. It'll just wear you down. So I think... Uh, it's a tough situation now for Meralco because they have to win three in a row mm -hmm. to be able to clinch the series. Yeah. And it's triple match point yes. as far as Rain or Shine is concerned. Mm -hmm. They're looking ahead. They're going to the finals, it looks like, mm -hmm. uh, unless there is a miracle that happens. Yeah. And uh, in the other series... Man. Yung totoo! Sabihin mo na yung totoo, Dean! Sige na! You're a food sent talking test. Sabihin namin. I think this could have been the finals. That could, could have, have been, been the finals. Mm -hmm. Could have been the finals. And I think it's a huge street for the fans that we're seeing a semi-final series that could be the finals. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. So I think it's going to be parang double three tito for the fans. Eh. You, you, in this conference, we're actually watching two final series. One involving Pure Foods and Talking Text. Mm -hmm. And of course, the finals that will happen later on. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pure Foods has a huge advantage, not only because 
the rainforest oh, is super talented. <laughs> 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 but, but also because this is a team that likes to pass the ball. Oh, uh, tal- ang galing um, yung tira ni Baro yeah. kaya pre-practice yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, kita mo naman yan, talagang sadyang sadya. Oh. The bench is so deep ng Pure Foods that even if madecimate yung bench nila, they can always count on the assistant coaches to step up. Oh, yeah, Gianni, and, and, and Gianni Barrientos condition pa si oh, Gianni Abarientos. Ah. Richard Belisario, <laughs> Jason Webb. Kayang-kaya pa. So, Grabe, no? so you've got a team that is not only deep in terms of players, but also deep in terms of coaching. Yan, yun. Wow, Galing ako ni okay, Nadine eh. Bakit? Naglalaro ako, nakita huh? niyo, ha? You're playing. Ano nilalaro mo? Oto sa PAMS. Oo, oh, ah, sa PAMS. Oh. Ang tibay naman ng loob mo. <laughs> <laughs> naglaro ka pa. At least, doon ba nakashoot ka? Ah, Siyempre. Aba, oh, ah, siguro, okay. anong kalaban mo doon? Huh? Uh, overage. <laughs> overage. Kaya <laughs> yung mga Miko Halili tayo. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, then. Jason still has it. Wow. Kayang-kaya. Wearing Ganun number one yan. Wearing number one pa rin. Oo. Oh. Santa Lucia pa rin nagamit <laughs> mo. Yun, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yun lang yung available. <laughs> Gusto ko muha. So, so, well, yun nangyari dito sa Meralco, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. they were ahead. Uh, okay. It seemed like, you know, they, they fixed the problem that they had in game one. Mm-hmm. What does this do now to their confidence? Kasi, lamang na sila by as much as what? I think, uh, I think they were up by 14 at yes, one point. at, at uh-huh. one point. And then, natalo pa sila ng malaki. Mm-hmm. Although, medyo humabol sila nung end game. And, and now you're down 0-2. And yung, yung manner of how they lost game 2, uh, what does this do to their confidence? Well, very bad. How do you make them believe? Kanina, no? na ano you have to beat Rain and Shine three straight times. Yeah. If you're having a difficult time beating Rain and Shine even in one game, uh. when, when you think, Ako, tatlong beses natin dapat talunin ito. And during that stretch, mm-hmm. dapat hindi na tayo matalo. Mm-hmm. That's a very daunting challenge. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you go back to that age-old adage. Yeah. One game at a time. Yeah, Don't a think time. about three games. You think about what's next. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. think about game three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you did right in the first half, mm-hmm. what you did wrong in the second mm-hmm. half, Maybe those 19 three-point shots yeah. of Rain or Shine won't repeat themselves <laughs> in game number ba, three. Yun, no? Because, uh, you know, law of averages din yan eh. Yeah. Um, yung Pure Foods, if I remember right, there was a game when you hit 61% oh, yeah, game from one. the floor. Game, uh, I think that was against uh, Alaska. Alaska, yeah, game and one. Exactly. And in that particular game, you shot 62% from three-point distance. Yeah. And 60% from what can you expect? Uh, point point naman yung mga, you ito, shot even higher than three point distance, but that won't happen every day. Hindi na nangyari kasi nung next game, 54% na lang. Kita mo naman yung mga shooting coaches. Tingnan mo naman yung mga shooting coaches. Si Johnny Abarientos. Yun yung nakakatakot. Yung 61% from the field, mataas pa yung kesa sa free throw. Oo nga. Oo nga. Grabe. But I think. Yung, your, in answer to your question about the confidence yeah. level, that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. It's a confidence game. Mm-hmm. And I think with Pure Foods, just like Talking Text, just like Rain or Shine, mm-hmm. they feel that they can match up against any team mm-hmm. in this league. Mm-hmm. I think the advantage of Pure Foods and Rain or Shine is that I think both teams, both these teams, have much deeper benches than the others. Ba, parang pinipredict na ni Dina. Oh, ano, ah, hindi ko na sila sabi. No? Sa hindi ko na sila sabi. Hindi naman ako umaangal eh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Sa akin. Ako yung Pure Foods. Ang, kasi I mentioned yung bench ninyo, ang dami mga M's. Di ba? May ano? Mark Baroka, may Mark. Malyari, Malyari, may Maliksi, Maliksi. Ah. may Mick Penisi. Ah, may, ano? Sino pa yung isa? Si Melton. Melton. Oh, Melton. 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 So, puro M yan. Si Mo De Bans. Mark Pingris. Ang tawag ko sa kanila, hindi lang the M's mm. or the mob uh. but the minute men minute men yeah. parang Paul Revere and the Raiders oh, oh. n- not Paul Revere and the Raiders Paul Revere and the minute men during uh-huh. the American Revolution uh-huh. you know every minute counts, counts. Oh, oh, oh. you come in from the bench of mm-hmm. Pure Foods and they're delivering instant offense instant defense uh-huh. quickness continuity fluidity uh-huh. kanya napakanggit ang panuwin kanya nagtuturo same oh. thing with Rain or Shine by the way <laughs> Ay, oh, oh, and for talking text I think it's a matter of just generating the kind of effect that you want from their starters. Uh-huh. I think the starters are fully loaded. Medyo kulang sila sa, sa bench. But a lot of it also will depend on the kind of attitude Ivan Johnson brings to the floor. Yon. The guy has anger management issues. Hindi naman. Marbait-bait eh. Mabait naman ah. Nadine, nagpunta na ba sa ano? Sa guidance counselor? Kaya ba alam mo? You know, very interesting case because this guy could be 
huh? the best import in this conference, even uh -huh. better than Denzel Bowles. Uh -huh. But he's got to have his head on his shoulders all uh -huh. the time. When he played at University of Oregon, he didn't last one year because he was taken out because of anger mm -hmm. management mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. In the NBA, he played two seasons with the Atlanta Hawks, undrafted John. Huh? Undrafted. And he was fined $25,000 for wow. a dirty finger. Mm -hmm. In the Korean Ang League... Talaga ng finger he was In the Korean League, uh -huh. he was banned for life. For life. In the first five games that he played ano in the NBA B League, he had five, <laughs> five <laughs> technicals and one ejection. So uh -huh. obviously the guy has anger management issues, but I think as far as playing ability is concerned, Nandun. this guy can be even better than Denver. You know, because even with all those his history, mm -hmm. pe uh, yeah, teams still get him, and he's playing all around the world. So it's a really good player, Ivan oh, Johnson. Oh, definitely, there's no doubt. Mm -hmm. But you know. Ini ini siapa tanya? Dia apa? Ini pentingnya apa? Strategi ini juga. Ini barang bejo behave. I mean, compared to yang naging apa nya, yang historinya, you can say that fairly behave. And you know why? Si Ivan Jones. I feel that the coaching staff of Talking Text is the perfect, shall we say, antidote for him because you got Joseph Ichiko who's very calm. Oh yes. Agal alam nari coach. Tap tap Baldwin, very calm. So these guys are calming. Parang influence, influence, influence on oh, him. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jimmy not, Oh yeah, he's not able to really go off on a tangent because uh -oh. alam niya, nakakam siya ng ano, ng mga coaching staff. Mm -hmm. So, um, if Ivan Johnson plays the way he's supposed to play, uh, dapat, dapat pala, it no? could be a long series mm -hmm. with Bigyan, your foods. Dapat yung painumin ng volume before the game. <laughs> diba? Yung mga <laughs> diba tutulog na? Diba tutulog na? <laughs> At least kalmado siya. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Okay lang sa akin yun. <laughs> diba? Ganun na lang. Speaking of that, uh, the Dean, um, obviously the, the best import is left to the four imports that are still playing right now. Mm -hmm. If you had your yung, ano, uh, chance to, for one ballot, mm -hmm. at this point, who would be the best import? Oh, at this point, there's no doubt, Den Denzel Bowles mm -hmm. is the best kahit, import. Kahit na the Dean, ilang, he wasn't able to play a lot of games compared to yeah. maybe uh, the Meralco import. I think import. since the time that uh, he showed up, Mm -hmm. For Pure Foods, uh, Pure Foods has been on a roll. One loss. Um, yeah. That's right. And that was his first game. Mm -hmm. yes. And then afterwards, it's sunod sunod na, no? Mm -hmm. I think uh, he has scored over 30 points in every game except one. Mm -hmm. And that was when he sat out the fourth period in that uh, yeah. first game yeah. against Alaska. Yes. Um, I think the maturity that he has shown and the attitude that mm -hmm. he has shown uh, in every game makes him a hands-down choice mm -hmm. as uh, import, uh, best import mm -hmm. for this conference. But well, you know, Wayne Chisholm is making a statement oh, as yeah, well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Pina import, yes, and yeah. pinakita din ni Wayne Chisholm that for rain or shine, he can pass the ball. Yeah. He's a guy who can adjust and adapt. His maturity level is also very high. Yeah. Kanya magandang, ano, magandang matchup, kung sakasakali, ganun na mangyari no, in the finals. Yeah. But again, that, the equation may be changed mm -hmm. depending on how Ivan Johnson mm -hmm. responds to the challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Talking Text, I think, is a team that's steeped in championship tradition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eh, kaya nga hindi ko ni si Ivan Johnson eh. Kasi baka patulan na ako. Eh. Nakakatakot <laughs> kaya yun. Na, eh. <laughs> hindi ko ini magalit eh. Na, eh. eh kung magalit nga eh. Oh. At tingin ko walang walang tutulong sa akin eh, di ba? Kaya para take pag, pag tumitingin siya sa bench, doon ka lang nakatingin siya sa akin. Eh. <laughs> I think Denzel Bowles ability to also play multiple positions effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, I think is a big plus um, mm -hmm. because he can play center. Mm -hmm. uh, almost He's, he's playing center like it was his natural position. Mm -hmm. You play him at power forward, he's playing power forward like it was his natural position. Mm -hmm. oh, how many imports can do that? Mm -hmm. That so many positions yeah. are their natural positions. Mm -hmm. wow. Ano, pag pinag-uusapan natin itong PBA playoffs, ako talaga yung natitense na eh. Kasi malapit na yun. Ano, medyo mag, ano tayo, change topic change tayo topic. na konti. Uh, 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 speaking of, uh, speaking <laughs> of championship <laughs> tradition, um, one of the teams that uh, actually talk about the NBA now, because alam natin si Dadin, when um, everyone was still talking about just PBA, si Dadin, puro NBA na pinag-uusapan oh, yun eh. Oh, oh. We, we want to talk about um, um, just for a bit. And I know this team is fairly close to your heart because uh, nandun si, uh, si Chip. Chip Angela. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So talk about the Spurs. Today, actually sent a message seemingly to the entire league. Tinambakan nila yung uh, Golden State Warriors by 20 points. Mm -hmm. And this is a team that people have actually seemingly written off already. Mm -hmm. And they're actually two games behind the number two seed mm -hmm. in the West. They're, 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 that, they're that deep into it. Mm -hmm. Are they for real? Is there, is, is, are, are they still a contender despite what seemed like a 
a season that they were just coasting or 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 not? Well, definitely San Antonio is a contender. Mm -hmm. And you've got a coach like Popovich who at the beginning of this season was planning out how this team was going to be. Mm -hmm. If you notice during stretches of this season, inuupo niya si Tim Duncan, inuupo niya si Tony Parker, mm -hmm. thinking that, you know, it's not about winning every single game. It's about the big picture. Mm -hmm. He's looking at the championship. He's looking at extending the reign. Mm -hmm. And dum magaling si Popovich. Mm -hmm. I mean, that guy is a... Uh, what, an intelligence officer with a degree in Soviet studies. Wow. Ah, wow. Um, wow. Went to... <laughs> um, I think he could have easily been a CIA agent. Um, <laughs> with his man, 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 ano Military niya eh. Baka military niya. Baka may spy pa na din. Popovich. But I think uh, with his material and with his coaching ability, Yes, this is a team that's for real. They've already eclipsed 50, 50 wins mm -hmm. in this season. And, it's, and that, I think, is a hallmark. But I think in this particular season, a team from the East will win the championship. But Nadine, we know for a fact <laughs> na, that, that you visited. Mm -hmm. You visited uh, the Spurs um, uh, facility and all. Kwento ko naman yung mga, ano, mga inside uh, conversations mo with, with, uh, with Pop with Chip and, and uh, maybe the rest of the assistant coaches. Uh, um, they were the, the also a team that actually has the first lady assistant coach in, mm -hmm. uh, in the NBA. Kwento ka naman ng bisita mo doon sa ano? Well, okay. Uh, this was two years ago. Um, but last year, si uh, Coach Juno of mm. Lasal and assistant coach Freddy Abuda returned mm. to the San Antonio Spurs camp for a second visit. Um, but the first uh, time that uh, the coaching staff of Lasal went, um, I was fortunate to tag along, mm -hmm. along mm -hmm. with uh, coaches mm -hmm. uh, Juno and assistant coaches Alan Kaidik and June Limpot. Um, we met Becky Hammond already at that time, mm -hmm. although she was not yet uh, appointed assistant coach. Mm -hmm. But tando na siya, no? tumutulong tulung na. One of the big observations that we all made was the fact that si Popovich, when he's running a practice, when he's running a drill, hindi niya kinikilala kung sino yung mga star, kung sino yung mga mm -hmm. reserve. Ang trato niya, pare-pareho lahat. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was one time na nagkaroon ng miscommunication, pinagalitan niya si Kawhi Leonard, oh. pero ang may kasalanan si Tim Duncan because nagpaliwanag si Leonard that it wasn't his fault. There was a miscommunication and it, it, it started or it stemmed from Tim Duncan. Oh. So, pinagalitan niya pa rin si Duncan? Yes, exactly. Oba? That's what I'm saying. No? He listens. Eh. Uh -huh. He listens to his players. Nagkamali siya nung pinagalitan niya si Kawhi, tapos nung nalaman niya, si Duncan pala ang may, uh, may kasalanan, at hindi naman inamin ni Duncan. <laughs> Tago na siguro. Dahil nakakatakot si Popovich. Yeah. Ha? But one oh. thing about Popovich, hindi siya nagmumura. Uh, Pinapakita niya. Wala siyang ginagamit na profane language. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah, hindi siya na fine <laughs> against, uh, against any barefaced uh, player. <laughs> okay. Wala, wala. Wala, wala, wala. Okay, okay. So, pinagalitan niya si Duncan and he wanted to set everything straight. And right after that, he made everybody in the team run sprints. Uh -huh. oh. So even if it's the fault of one guy, he wanted to make everybody responsible. Um, I think his justice system is what makes the San Antonio Spurs tick. You know, mm -hmm. he relates very well with the players. Yeah. I think the respect and recognition, mm -hmm. and he's earned it. Mm -hmm. He's earned it. Mm -hmm. um, this fellow used to be an assistant coach mm -hmm. um, with the San Antonio Spurs, and uh, um, he earned his Spurs, mm -hmm. so to speak, uh -huh. no? to win championship after championship. I remember his first championship was 1999. That was the abbreviated Avery Johnson, season. Yes, the Avery Johnson shot from the corner. Right, and that was against the New York Knicks. Yeah. Um, I was fortunate to have covered that um, for uh, for the Philippines for the for the, during the NBA Finals, and then. Uh, and then so on down the line, you know, the way they've won championships. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's managed his pieces mm -hmm. um, so well, so that even now, he's got a mix of veterans and young guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, he doesn't defer to anyone. Mm -hmm. He defers to the team. Mm -hmm. And I think that's Galing. what makes him a great coach. But I don't want to tell you, I don't want to tell you. Because I want to tell you, First hand experience, baka naman pwede mo kami isama. <laughs> Sabi mo naman, kasi nasa lista oh. rin naman kami. Oh, oh, diba? Wala naman kami coach rin naman kami. Oh, naman, Pero dapat sa... sumali kayo sa, ano, sa coaching staff. Aba, wala <laughs> naman problema. May sweldo ba yan? <laughs> <laughs> problema, walang bakante. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll take a short break. Ha? Kasi andayan pa natin pag-uusapan dito. 
with the dean. Nakita niyo naman, walang masyadong alam eh. Wala. Okay. Wala, wala, di ba? Wala masyadong alam. So, we'll, we'll uh, discuss more topics uh, of more interest to all of you and we'll take the short break. All right, welcome back to the Bro Show, mga kaibigan. Uh, still here with the Dean at... Uh, Ayan, no? Inoong ino, 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 bato? Inoong ino, bato? Uh, 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 Jay, pakita mo nga na iniinom yan. Pamiyana natin iniinom yan. Pamiyana na kasi baka maubos. Teka, sandali. Ano bato? Ha? Surprise. Yan yung iniinom ni Ivan Johnson bago maglaro. Kaya sa delikado ito. Well, nakita niyo na naman. Walang masyado ka naman bisita natin. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. You know, years of experience, no? No. Uh, ito na kay the Dean. I mean, household name when it comes to... Uh, household? Yes. Household name oh, na. Household. Oh, kilala ka. Kahit mga yaya ko, kilala ka. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, grabe talaga. Meron And, ako yung kwento dyan. Oo, oh, sige. Yaya. Yes. Yaya. Naku, may kwento. Naku, may kwento. Alam ko yan. Okay, dito <laughs> lang yung sa bro show. Ah. <laughs> may pakakwento si uh, the oh, Dean uh, tungkol uh, sa yaya. Uh. Ito. <clears throat> One time, I was uh, invited to uh, interview Michael Jordan. And this was in Tokyo. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. This was a few years ago. He had already retired, mm -hmm. but he was um, promoting his uh, Jordan line, the Jumpman line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this would have been my third time to interview him. Okay. But every time I get to interview him, I'm always told by the security, as well as the other writers, no autographs, no photographs. Ba? So knowing that, bago ko pumunta sa Tokyo, dumana ako sa PBA office. Okay. And I asked the commissioner at that time, I asked, if they could prepare a letter of invitation for Michael Jordan to come to the Philippines mm -hmm. as a special guest. Mm -hmm. And I also asked for a PBA coffee table book that I was going to give. Okay. Naisip ko, I would give this invi invi invitation along with the book. That would be like, a, yes, an excuse for a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Galing, galing so, mag-isip ha. <laughs> pero at the same hey. time, takot, takot din ako because... Uh, you know, sinabi na eh. Oo, sinabi na uh, nga eh. Uh, so nandun kami. I was one out of about eight Asian journalists. And it was in a, uh, in a hotel suite. Mm -hmm. We were all herded into this hotel suite. Wala pa si Jordan. Yung kanyang executive assistant dumating. A white lady. Okay. Ay, multo! 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 Ay, multo! Para nang multo! Ay, multo! Ay, multo! Tapos, pumasok. Sabi ng ano, dala-dala ko yung ano, yung letter at saka yung libro, no? Wala pa si Jordan. Sabi niya, Who of you is Kinito Hanson. Aba? Sabi ko, Aba? Is there any other Kinito Hanson? Ma'am, ma'am, me, me, me. Can I talk to you for a while? Sabi ko, mukha yata, mukha yata ang nalaman yung trick ko. Sabi ko, mahirap na ito. So we went towards the back, and then sabi niya sa akin, you know, I live in New York, sabi niya, and I am Michael's executive assistant. Ah, yes, ma'am. Um, my nanny in New York, who took care of my children, no, no. asked me um, who were the journalists who were going to come um, to interview uh, Michael mm. and if there would be someone from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So I said, yes. Um, I looked at my list and I said, Joaquin Hanson. Mm. So my nanny said, ma'am, can you ask for his autograph? Wow. <laughs> Sabi ko, naku, jackpot ito. Jack Sabi ko, na, because of the nanny. Buti hindi niyo sinabi. No oh. autograph, no photograph. <laughs> Sabi ko, pagkakataon ko na ito. So Sabi ko, of course ma'am. What is her name? And Rose yata ang pangalan. So, dear Rose, binigyan ko pa ng magandang dedication. Tapos, and then ma'am, yes, what is it? You know, I have a letter here from the PBA. <laughs> and, you know, and I'd like to give it to Michael, perhaps at the end of the interview. But they want to have proof <laughs> I was going to give this letter. <laughs> Alam mo ba sinabi sa akin? I will take the picture! <laughs> that is my nanny story. Aga, galing, huh? no? Kanya, there is a picture of me with Michael Jordan. Kwento mo yung sa yaya mo. Ay, ay, oh, ay, iba yata ay, yaya mo. Iba yata ang story mo. Ikaw, pinirma, may pinirma ka rin. Siya pinapirma ko. Ngayon ako ko ba? Tawa mo yung mga yaya yaya. Pero, biro mo si the Dean, sila Michael Jordan. Ang tayo pang na-interview. Pero I, I think, hindi pa natatanong yan eh, ito ng marami. Mm -hmm. no? so, how did you start? I mean, I mean they all, people already see you on TV, that you're an authority on, on different matters with, with regards to sports. Pero marami rin mga aspiring dyan. I, I mean, kasi, kasi ikaw rin, you speak sa mga aspiring sports writers, mm -hmm. diba? nage-guess ka pa ng mga ibang PBA personalities. But I'm sure a lot of people are curious. 
how do you how did you start? When I was eight years old. Huh? Wow. Oh. Aba, oh. Aba. Oh. Oh. Aba. Oh. 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 And I would make a story out of what I saw on TV. And then the next day, there would be a story in the newspaper of that event. Kasi lumabas nga live on TV. So I would clip the newspaper article about that event. And I would put the story that I wrote the night before. And I would put it in a scrapbook side by side. Wow. So you've always had the passion for writing. Yes. For writing, yes. Eight years old, marunong ka na mag-typewriter. Doon ako nabili. <laughs> Kasi ako, college na. Oh, oh, Bumaksak pa ako sa typing. Two fingers. Oh, Tapos nung nag-college ako, mm -hmm. nag-typing champion ako. Oh, ba? Talaga? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. That was oh. a national, uh, national competition. Wow. Nahirap ang training dyan. Yeah. Mga ilang words per minute yun? Hindi <laughs> mm, well, ko na matandaan. So, mabilis yun eh, di ba? Oh, mabilis, mabilis. Oh, para mag-typing Hindi ko na matandaan. Um, Di naman, di naman, di naman, wala naman ay injured doon pag ano. Ito mga ano, yung kaliri ko. Meron pa yung libro dito, ito. Hall of Fame, ha? Ginawa ito ng asawa ko. Ah, ganun ba? Yes. How old are you here? Kasi parang walang nagbago. Yun ang ipa na kabilib. That was only last year. Ah, last year. Yes, but the book was made in 2010. Ang galing, ha? Okay, no? Futuristic tong libro to. Yan yung parang ano, yung sent to my... To my future self. Oh, ang galing. And what's included? What's inside this book? Lahat ng mga management, career achievements. Grabe. And this is this is tells your story. Oh yes, essentially. Oh, you know, sports is always has always been close to my heart. But I do a lot of work also for the underprivileged. I've worked 30 years now for a microfinance company. Oh, okay. The foundation of uh, Ambassador Kohanko. So um, one of our biggest achievements was a uh, um, couple of years ago, we funded our microfinance company funded the education of close to 2,000 public school teachers in Tarlac mm -hmm. to finish their masters and doctorate wow. studies in education, uh -huh. free of charge. And that was a 42 million peso project. Wow! And when they graduated using Tarlac State University as a whole school, mm -hmm. they graduated with LaSalle diplomas because wow. the curriculum was supervised by LaSalle. Okay. So that during the graduation, they all sang the alma mater. Can you imagine ah. almost 2,000 new cheerers for, mm -hmm. for yes, the LaSalle yes, basketball yes. team? <laughs> 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 yeah. Of all the, you know, um, let's talk about of all the interviews mm -hmm. the dean. what would be the most memorable? Who, who would be the most... No, two things. Who would be the most memorable and what instance would be the most memorable? Okay. If that um, would, those would be different. Yeah. I think Michael Jordan's interview was, uh, I think, was tr tremendous. Not, my, not the Tokyo interview, mm -hmm. but the interview when I was sent uh, um, to New York. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, they were premiering Space Jam. Oh. So we're talking 1996. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was my first time to interview him. And that was in a hotel right by Central Park. Si Bugs Bunny, hindi nyo na na-interview doon. Hindi nga, yun ang hinahanap ko. Yun ang hinahanap ko, wala eh. Wala eh. No pictures rin daw sa kanya. And I think that was a very significant moment because kagalingan yun ni Michael Jordan. Yes, yes. And in, you know, I'll never forget, of course, when I began covering the NBA Finals in 1997, it was Chicago versus Utah. In 1998, it was also Chicago versus Utah, and um, I'll never forget those uh, those moments because Game Six of the 1998 NBA Finals mm -hmm. was the absolute thrill uh -huh. because that was when Michael Jordan hit that mm -hmm. last yes, se second yes, shot yes. of a push uh -uh. on Br uh, Byron uh, <laughs> Russell to be able to make the shot. But uh, I guess Michael Jordan would be would be the most significant interview. Mm -hmm. But I would say that uh, Suguro yung Nahahabul, maybe in second place, was Kevin Durant. Bagulang. Yeah, this was just a about two years. Yeah, about two years ago. Two years ago, and also I got to play basketball with him. Uh huh. And. Talaga? 
Oh. Doon ba siya na-injured? Doon pinantaya mo? The Dean? <laughs> Nakascore ako doon. <laughs> Kasi ganito yan, ganito yan. By the way, Nico Halili was with me. Huh? But he was in a different team. Ah, for sure, okay. for sure. Five, so, ibang... five minute games lang yun eh. Five okay. minute games. Kanya okay. sabi ko, oh, wala nang pacing-pacing dito. Nasa doon siya sa ano, grupo ng Middle Earth. <laughs> Sama niya mga si habit. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Durant was playing on the opposite team. Uh -oh. So kami, you know, hindi naman kami mga professional. We're yeah. all recreational players. Uh -oh. Pero yung kasama ko, napansin ko, parang yung skill level, May... super mababa. Uh -oh. Yung bang uh... ihahagis lang yung bola. Si Tsaka... Miko yan, si Miko. Ay, hindi, hindi. hindi. <laughs> si Miko nga, ang ganda ng ginawa niya. Hindi, ano. Anyway, so we went up against Kevin Durant's team. Nandun ako sa kabilang team. The final score was, I think it was 12-2. Ako lang ang nakascore sa amin. Aba. Mm -hmm. eh, kasi the reason, the reason being, nakita okay. ko, alam mo, walang pasahan dito eh. Kasi namasa nga ako ng one time, open shot yung, yung taga-France yata yung Tumira, wide open, na hindi naman pumasok. Oh. So sabi ko, at saka napapansin ko din, tuwing nakakahawak ng bola, pinitira ka agad. Uh -huh. So, everybody just wanted to score. So sabi ko, kung ganun, mag-aabag na lang ako sa ilalim. Okay. Rebound. Pag, pag may titira, kukuha na lang ako Isa ng offensive rebound. Oh, 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 oh. 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 So, ganun ako nakascore. Hinintay ko na lang tumira yung mga kakampi ko and then I was able to Minti score. Si, si Chard, ganyan din nun saan yan. Hindi ah. Nag-aabang rin yan. Nag-aabang <laughs> lang sa ano. Nistrabang ako eh. Ah, Nag-aabang <laughs> lang siya ng kung sino kung saan siya makaka-rebound. <laughs> oh. oh, tapos doon siya nakaka-score. Pero hindi to basketball ah. Ha? <laughs> 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 ano, basketball pinag-uusapan natin eh. Hindi, <laughs> anyway, back to my story. <laughs> Nung nakakawa ko ng, <laughs> ng ano, offensive rebound, si, si Durant na nun sa kabila. Oh. Kanya, wala, wala siya nagawa, no? Wide open naman ako. Uh -huh. Second time, ganun na lang ginawa ko. Sabi oh. ko, mag-aabang na naman ako. Uh -huh. Makakascore ako dito, sabi oh. ko. So, inabang ko na, inabang ako yung, ano, yung, yung bola. Tumira nga yung kakampi ko. Sabi ko, eto na, pagkakatong ko na. I jumped up, you know, I jumped only this match. Uh -huh. I jumped up to get uh -huh. the ball. Biglang nagtuloy si Duran. Nandun ka agad? Oo, uh -huh. kinuha yung bola. Sabi ko, napano yung bola? <laughs> Biglang pakatapos doon, sabi ko, ba't masakit yung balikan ko? Ba't, uh, ano ba nangyari sa akin? Ano ba ito? <laughs> Ano ginawa rin ko? Eh, ewan mo, basta kinuha na lang yung bola, tapos biglang nasaktan ako. Talaga. But you know, those are those are nice moments. I'll also I'll also remember that in the year 2000, again, covering the NBA Finals, Indiana versus the Lakers, pinagbiyang kami ng NBA, we all played in the Staples Center. So again, the mga broadcasters played, and we played against a team of Hollywood stars. Wow. So ang kamatchup ko si Dean Dean. The Dean rin? Kapatid mo? Kapatid mo yun? Sino nga yung Superman? Dean Cain. Dean Cain, exactly. Dean Cain. Tapos si Tobey Maguire, nandun din. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Bata pa siya nun. Yung mga nakalaban namin. Ang kasama ko doon si Anthony Suntay yata eh. Ah, si Anthony? Yes. Wow. Pero ano mo, Jay, yung mga experience na yun ni The Dean, ano na yan? Memorable. Pero ngayon, iba na. Iba na. Iba na. Pag tinanong na siya, ano yung most memorable mo na... Guesting or interview, alam na natin. Alam na natin. Ah, oo. Ito na. Oo. Ito na. Yung bro show, inangatan na si Jordan. Dito ba? Ito ba? Dapat kong sagutin? Ito yung... Yung bro show? Bakit ito yun? Kasi yung boss namin nakikinig. Nakikita ko na yun. Bukas na bukas. Headline the star. Philippine star eh. Kasi kailangan namin para sa mga sponsor. Ano natin yan? Bakit? Okay, sige. Para tayong three students. Okay, pag-usapan naman natin. Ang dami natin pinag-usapan basketball. Pero, how... Was it ever difficult for you? Kasi people would be looking at you, your success. And para sa... Hindi, siguro wala namang... Hindi naman siya nahirapan before. Kami, struggling journalist. Kami, struggling broadcasters. Ang hirap pakahanap ng trabaho. How about your hardships? The hardships will always be there. But success... I can't consider myself to be successful. Um, I think it's still a process. Uh -huh. um, once you tell yourself, I've achieved, ganon, siguro, hindi ka na matututo, mm -hmm. hindi ka na mag-i-improve. Um, I don't think uh, there is an end to this journey. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't see it. Mm -hmm. uh, because when I see that end, I think that will also be an end to, to, my, <laughs> to my career. The end na talaga. <laughs> uh, but, the end talaga. Uh, but it was very difficult. Um, how to be able to gain reputation, uh -huh. how to be able to gain credibility. Mm -hmm. um, madami na akong nadaanan na, na very painful. Um, for instance, there was a time, 
uh, uh, aking iniidolo, si Robert Jaworski, did oh. not talk to me for four years huh? because of something I mentioned uh, on the air. Oh. I finally patched up things when um, I was able to get him tickets to watch an NBA game. Ticket, ticket lang, parang, parang mga kanto, mga Pinoy lang pala sa mga kanto. At but, ticket, uh, bakit? But you know, I... Dahil pala, hindi rin muna kita kausapin, baka bigyan mo ko ng NBA. But since ticket. then, since then, um, Senator Jaworski and I have been very, very close. Uh -huh. So much so that when he had this retirement ceremony in the PBA, he requested that I be the MC. Wow. So I felt very honored yes, yes, um, yes. For, that, for that particular occasion. There was also one time when Yang Giao mm. uh, did, not, language? did not talk to me also for a long time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, also, <laughs> also because of something that I mentioned on the air. Um, at that time, si Coach Yang was writing a Filipino column in, uh, I think, People's Tonight. So, meron akong nabanggit, tapos siguro, he reacted to it, meron siya sinulat sa column niya. Hindi ko nabasa yun. Oh. <laughs> One game, nung dumating ako sa PBA, may nagpakita, pare, sabi sa akin, nung isang kaibigan natin, ito si Yang Giao. May sinulat ako sa'yo. Ano daw ang sabi? Bakla ka daw! <laughs> Kala ko bare-faced ano. <laughs> Grabe oh, naman. But you know, <laughs> sa kolum. <laughs> but, uh, the power of the pen. But Coach Yang and I have become very, very close friends. Uh -huh. uh, of course, my kapampangan roots. Uh -huh. But uh, outside of that, I think we respect each other. Yes, yes, For what yes. we are, we accept each other's uh, uh, weaknesses uh -huh. and strengths and shortcomings. But uh, Coach Yang and I are good friends now. Very, yeah. very good friends. Uh, well, para masira yan, why don't you become the commissioner? The next commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> then I will have no more good friends. Doon ba titesting ang uh, friendship oh, ni Coach Yang? Di ba? Are you wi wi willing ka ba maging next commissioner? <laughs> Ayan, oh, never. Maganda, oh, because, magandang tanong yan. Oh. Of course not. First of all, I'm not qualified. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> I think... Uh, I don't know if I can continue uh, with my sports casting. I hope to. Um, I hope uh, I, I won't reach a stage where I feel that uh, I don't have much to contribute. Mm -hmm. um, when that happens, I guess it's time to call it uh, quits. Yeah. But for so long, I, I, as I'm still working hard, researching mm -hmm. um, for every game, um, taking time to talk to people so that I'm, I'm able to give information to the viewers. Um, if the fire is still there and yeah. burning, then I'll keep on doing it. But that job is, um, is precious to me. Mm -hmm. uh, the job of being a commissioner, that is not precious to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, my short list. My short list, your short list. For the next commissioner? Yes. Well, first of all, the, the new commissioner is no longer going to be like a commissioner at Chito Salud. Yes. It's yeah. going to be like a league commissioner. Yeah. It's going to be like a, someone who's going to be looking at game to game, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. looking at officiating. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think... Um, the job of Commissioner Salud, as it is now, is going to be the same. Mm -hmm. I think Commissioner Salud is going to be elevated to a CEO yeah. or president's yeah. position. Yeah. And that will put him above having to look at day -to -day every operations. game and day-to-day -day operations. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't think I'm cut out for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think even if you were to elevate me, I don't think I'll be cut out for that either. Eh, paano kung habang nagko-commentate kayo, kayo na yung nagka-commissioner doon? Hindi, para sulit, di ba? Sulit, habang nagko-cover ka. O, pa, yung referee natin, palitan. O, di ba? Pwede yun. Pwede. Ngayon, hindi pa nangyayari yun. Okay, sige. Tuloy-tuloy na natin ang discussion. Para masulit natin yung oras with the Dean. Okay, punta naman tayo sa boxing. Okay, boxing na tayo kasi malapit na eh. Okay. Malapit na. Of course, pinag-uusapan dito si Rolando Navarrete. Ay, sorry, sorry. Malik, si... Nakover ko din yan, ha? Nakover ko din yan. Ang malahat niya ito. Manny Pacquiao. Floyd Mayweather. Draw. Okay. Draw. Draw? Draw. Draw ka agad. Draw. Talaga? Kasi... Hindi ba marami nagsasabi? It's 50-50. Oh, di draw. Di draw. Di ba? Draw. I think there is a great possibility that this fight could end in a draw. Wow. I honestly think so. You think Las Vegas will allow that? Of course. I think even more. Yun ang pinakakita. First of all, first of all. Wala kang out. First of all, I think for every dollar that you bet on a draw, you get $30. So that's. That's tremendous odds. Oh, so, oh. if you ask the question, oh, no. Kita ba Las Vegas? Mm -hmm. oh. 
sandali, baka mabroke unless may cash <laughs> kasi maraming kung, kung sino magbebet. Hindi, kung hindi sila nanood ng bro show, hindi sila ma- <laughs> hindi na makukuha yung tip na yun. Hindi <laughs> na makukuha ng tip na yun. Possible. Yeah. That's uh-huh. that's a very real possibility if you're even talking of the commercial sense that a draw will certainly spawn uh-huh. a rematch. Uh-huh. And if that he remains undefeated. He remains undefeated. Mm. Yeah. By the way, no, marami kasi nagsasabi, Manny Pacquiao is guaranteed $80 million for this. Mm. Biggest paycheck. What about Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. Yeah. His biggest che- paycheck before this was $41 million in that wow. Saul Alvarez fight. Now he's guaranteed $120. Mm-hmm. And the way I see it, if pay-per-view is going to hit anywhere between 3 to 4 million subscriptions, yeah. At You're talking it, of... Was it 99? Are they selling at 99? I think it'll be $100 for <clears throat> standard mm-hmm. and 110 for high definition. Wow. wow. Yeah. So, well, it, it makes it easier to compute mm. because if it's $100, oh. pero, uh, pero 300 sayo, million or 350 million or 400 million. Mm, pero sayo, the din, HD sigurado, malamang, nandun ka na naman. So, mag, mag- oh, 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 yes, we're... we're ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm hoping. Let's put it that way. I'm hoping that... Uh, baka may... Kung, <laughs> kung ano tayo... Hindi. Tapos na yung... Hindi. Baka umabot ng May 1 yun eh. Doon na tayo. Mas maganda yun. Kita yun eh. O nga nga. Sabagay. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Pero we're looking at training videos of... Uh, Manny Pacquiao, and mukhang talagang seryoso sa ngayon. Mm. Uh, At hindi lang si Manny yung seryoso. No? Si mm. Mayweather is also very serious. Yeah. I think though... They've no, been they're, quiet, ha? Yung Mayweather well, I think camp, Mayweather's been trabaho. very quiet because now he realizes the backlash kung ano yung mga nagawa niya dati. I think he's now beginning to realize that the American public is not 100% behind him. Mm-hmm. Even if he's an American. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. of his ostentatious mm-hmm. proclamations and declarations kung anong mga ginagawa niya sa pera niya, mm-hmm. napresa siya, uh-huh. um, Child abuse, yeah. women abuse. Mm-hmm. I mean, this guy is uh, he's, he's a villain. But he won't feel it because uh, from what we know, totoo ba to, na lahat mm. ng ticket daw na kay, na kay Floyd, hirap na hirap daw si Manny. Yes, yes. Uh, ang, ba- ang balita ko, hinakot as part of his deal, no? part mm-hmm. of his arrangement with MGM, hinakot ni Floyd Mayweather, being the lead promoter yes. of this fight, no? hinakot niya lahat ng ticket. Binigyan niya ni, si Manny ng 100 tickets. Aha. Uh-huh. 100 uh, tickets. 100 lang. So now Manny has to buy tickets from the black market because Mayweather is controlling the black market. Uh-oh. Oh. You, <laughs> so, go, you go to so the end. So tickets ang dami nang kikitain niya. Exactly. Oh. oh exactly. Grabe, uh, th- no? This is history in the making because the biggest gate in MGM Grand Garden was 20 million. Gate? Okay. That's just the gate. But that's, that's, not, that's not black market. That's no, just that's actual black, gate. Oh. Yeah, that's, in, in terms of the price differential now Uh-oh. from actual figures, face value figures, this should generate 74 million. Wow. That's a new record. Tapos nandun sa kanya yung, what is it? Uh, let's say it seats about what? Almost 8,000? 16,000. Oh, 16,000? Yeah. Wow! Ang daming pera ni Mayweather. Exactly. Mag-utangan ba yan? Lalo ba yan? Hindi nga eh. Hindi nga mag-utang ito eh. Baka mag-5-6 na lang siya. But one thing about Mayweather is, I think the way this fight is going, he should be able to clear at least 150 million. Wow. Clear. I think gross. Gross. Yeah. He should be able to generate that amount of money in terms of his income streams. And for money, 100 million dollars is for him. Easy for him. 100 lang. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine kung magkano Bukano na rin? lang yun? 4.8 billion lang ba yun? Now, if you ask the question, yeah. can, can Manny win this fight? I think he can. Mm-hmm. Ako, ako, true um, odds. Yung true odds. Okay, true odds. It started 2.5 to 1. Ngayon, it's down to 2 to 1. Mm-hmm. Before, you bet $100 on Manny, you get 235. Mm-hmm. Now, you bet $100 on Manny, you get back 170. So oh. it's not true that it's 50-50. Ah, no, no. That's oh. just my take. Oh, hindi. Yung In terms of odds. Nung, oh, sa, sa odds, Vegas odds, nasa... 2, one, two to 1. Two it's to 2 one. to 1 now. Mm-hmm. 2 to 1. Mm-hmm. Dati kasi kay Mayweather, you bet 275, you, you win 100. 100. Now, you bet 210, and you win 100. Oh. So, yung isang case ko, mga ilang ano, <laughs> kasi, ganun lang ako may pagpustahan. Eh. Ako, oh, sa laban na to, it's going to be height, Versus mind. Mm-hmm. The heart of Pacquiao oh. and the mind of Mayweather. Remember, May- Mayweather is a very crafty fighter. Born he's, to fight niya, di ba? Sabi he's nila. a technician. He's a clinical fighter. Pero si, si Manny naman, uh, 
ibang klase na ng puso pinapakita niya every time he fights. If Manny wins, do you think he will be our next president? <laughs> First of all, he's not, uh, he's Kasi, not of age. Talagang iya, ano na siya. He's not <laughs> even of age vice to run president, for vice president. Uh, hindi pa pwede. Hindi pa pwede. Oh. Okay. Senator, he can run for senator. senator eh. He can run for senator. So, so senate president. It looks like he will be running for senator. Mm -hmm. Sinabi na niya. Ah, sinabi na niya. That he will be running for senator, yes. Mm -hmm. So, senate president. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, we wish Manny, Manny the best. Manny makes oh. us so proud. And uh, ako, even if I said that there's a possibility of a draw, I really think... If anyone can win this fight, it's Manny to win. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it, this I mean, fight is for Manny to win. You, you might also, ma, ang pwede lang dito ang problema, he cannot sneak up on Mayweather. Mm -hmm. Kasi alam ni May, Mayweather na ang, ang kapasitan ni Manny. At saka alam niya, pagkatapos ni Manny, eh, he doesn't have to prove anything yeah. anymore. But I also think that there hasn't been an opponent quite like Manny. Mm -hmm. pa. Whom Mayweather has faced. Mm -hmm. Mayweather has faced eight southpaws in his career. Four of them gave him trouble. Mm -hmm. When he was an amateur, he lost eight times. One of them was to a southpaw. Mm -hmm. So he has a difficult time with southpaws. Allergic nga siya sa southpaws. Eh. Mm -hmm. Pangalawa, <clears throat> Manny's a swarmer. Swarmer. Sa angulo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mayweather is a swimmer. Mm -hmm. You know, he likes to float. Aba, mahilig magbadyong, ha? Oh. <laughs> swarmer versus swimmer. Oh. Tsaka, <clears throat> I think Manny wins this, or if he wins this, he's going to win it because he's a volume puncher. Mm -hmm. He averages 55 punches a round. Wow. Mayweather averages 27. Okay? Oh. Mayweather hits you at a connection rate of 51%. Manny is 34%. But in terms of absolute figures, Manny connects 19 punches a round. Mayweather, 13 so for Manny, you have to make every punch count. Mm -hmm. Pero nangyari na sa atin yan, nung uh, natalo si Manny kay Bradley, di ba? Mas marami mm -hmm. yung sa, sa punch stats, mas marami kay Manny. But it's no certainty that even if he hits more or connects more, that it's not eh, a luto certainty. Luto naman yun, luto. Ah, luto talaga yun. <laughs> but, but again, the possibility of this fight, possible iluto din nila. Oh. Because... May yung weather... judges ba? Baka naman si Mayweather rin ang pumili. Ito ngayon. Uncle yata niya, di ba? Uncle, di ba? <laughs> Ito ngayon. Um, I think both camps have veto power over judges uh -oh. and the referee. Mm. But being the lead promoter, you know, Mayweather has influence over everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. He, in fact, he, siya nga ang pumili ng MGM Grand Garden because he has an exclusive deal with them. Mm -hmm. Siya nga may control ng tickets eh. Mm -hmm. Malamang yung mga judges at saka referee, baka hihingi na ng ticket sa kanya eh. Oh. <laughs> Di ba? Oh. Hindi lang nun, daming hihingin sa kanya <laughs> para yeah. sigurado na, no? Siyempre, oh. na nun. So, hindi ba din madidiskwento yun? But, you know, for Manny to win, it's got to be an overwhelming victory mm -hmm. na hindi na siya pwedeng dayain. Mm -hmm. no, he's got to be able to win so convincingly that any judge who favors Mayweather at the end of 12 rounds Mapapa, is gonna be na laughed at, oh. mocked, mm -hmm. and ridiculed. Wow. Grabe talaga. Ano mo, iba talaga pag sila din ng guest natin. Eh. Kulang, kulang yung oras. <laughs> Kaya kulang. Ano mo, next time, mag-TV show na tayo at uh, <laughs> uh, habaan natin ng ating... Uh, <laughs> ano bang next mo na biyahe, Dadin? Yun na ba malamang yung ano na ba? Kung, Vegas. Kung, kung, kung ano, Vegas. Kung, 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 ano, dito tayo magkwentuhan. <laughs> pwede rin. Tayo, Yun na nga eh. Pwede Tsaka rin. pwede naman tayo mag-brow show doon. Hmm? Diba? Sabi mo na lang. Yun ano? ang pinakamaganda. Alam diba? mo na, Dadin, kung naman na yung contact mo, yung yaya. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Pag si Jordan, tinawagan si Mayweather. Yung Yaya, nung executive producer ni Jordan, tawagan si Mayweather. Ayun na, sigurado na tayo dyan. Tatlo lang naman eh. Hindi ko naisip yun. Pwede, pwede. Pero yung ano, possibilidad. But before we go, there's one question na gustong malaman talaga ng lahat ng mga viewers natin. Ito gusto. Sige. The dean ko silang, ito, marami nag-ano sa akin, nagtanong sa akin, sa Twitter, sa Facebook, kanyan. Gusto nila namalaman kung may nor sa bahay mo. Ah, wala. Impossible yan. Bawal yun eh. Bawal. Wala na. Although, they don't make Maggi noodles anymore. Wala na. But we're very loyal sa Maggi. For those that don't know, and you'll see it there, doon sa screen nyo, si Dadin, 
ang uh, kanyang asawa si Tita Maggie. Tita Maggie. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, how many years married na kayo? Ay, we just got married a couple of years ago lang eh. Ah, yeah, no, so, stay compared. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, Adin. So, it's been like uh, we got married. Ah, Kasi ba, ba, nanonood si Tita oh, Maggie. Eh. Baka sabihin Tita Maggie, aba lang babae na naman si Tita Maggie. Sino ba yung yaya na yan? Ha? Ngayon na, may yaya. <laughs> Dito lang na booking. Anyway, Nadine, thank you very thank much. You. For, oh, thank you very much I mean, for uh, inviting. Ang dami naming uh, natutunan as usual. Mm. And uh, I hope this would be not be the last uh, pag uh, we can invite you. Uh, I hope so too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ano, palabasin mo na si... Si Miko sa principal sa office. Ay, okay ano, lang. Ba? Hindi nga nandun sa, ano, sa kindergarten eh. Nag-re-repeat na eh. Hindi <laughs> ko mapigilan eh. Oh, Siya nag-request eh. Talagang lab na lab niya yung kinder eh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, bros. Well, that concludes another episode of The Bro Show. I'd like to thank, of course, again, our special guest, uh, Dean Kinito Henson. You can follow him on Twitter and on Instagram. Ang ganda ng mga pictures. Pag sa Instagram. Pag sa Instagram. Kasi Instagram ah, ang pleto. Pleto. Kasi pag yung ano, pinipicture mo, lagi panahalo. Eh, oh, so sana, mamaya, kami mapicture na dito. Kasi yung mga talo. Pwede rin, pwede rin. Alright, uh, so see you next week uh, for another episode of The Bro Show. Bye, bros. Bye, bros. <laughs> <laughs>